Hey everyone, Preclarish Charms here, and I'm going to do a quick review on this Dybeca um, uh, air dry clay slash, I think it's paper clay um, kit that I got. I bought it from House of Ink Houston, her kawaii cupcake website. Um, since I bought it, she did lower the price, which is uh, good. It was a great price at the price that I bought it at, too. Um, I don't think she's going to restock them, so you should get them while you can. Um, sorry, I'm just scratching my nose. Um, I haven't been on much lately because I've been really sick the last week. Um, and I haven't been able to take time off work, so when I come home, I'm really tired. But, um, I'm getting distracted here. Anyway, so this is... From my understanding, um, related or not related, I don't know. Um, but this is the kit I got, um, and it came with all the clay you needed, um, a, like a bunch of clay and a bunch of air dry whipped cream clay, which I have leftovers. I couldn't even use it all. And um, molds and some other little things that I'll go over. I would have done a package opening and everything, but um, like I said, I wasn't feeling well and I just sort of came home from work and saw this and just like played with it for hours. So, but I thought I would do a review because when I was um, attempting to do this kit, obviously there's no instructions in English, and I looked online and couldn't find anything about it, so I had to discover a lot of things for myself, which was fine, it's, it's very simple, but um, I would only suggest this if you're experienced working with clay and with cream clay and air dry clay and deco den, it's... Uh, not really for amateurs. There's lots of other kits out there for amateurs. There's smaller kits and pieces for the kit and everything. So, um, yeah, so I'll just show you what came in it. So this is all the... I don't even think I can get it on the picture. These are all the pieces I did. Um, and these are the molds that come with it. There's like um, a cookie on um, small macaroon one and like chocolate random biscuit one. This this line here is for a cake roll and there's uh, bigger macaroons and more cookies and little things and then there's um, this donut one and as you can see they're super super flexible and durable, so they worked really well with the clay. I didn't have a problem with that. And then I came with um, pink, white, and brown clay, like uh, whipped cream clay. And then it came with this pink sparkly. This I didn't use any of this. It comes like this, and you have to add water to it. Um, that was the part that got me the most was. I couldn't figure out how much water to add, and they didn't have like a picture. They just had a picture of somebody adding water, no like specific references to how much. So I kind of like eyeballed it and tried mixing it in the bag first, but then they ended up putting it in a cup. And I think the pink um, was too watery. Because um, as you can see, it kind of like sunk. Um, the brown was okay. I don't think I had a problem with the white. I think the white didn't have enough. If you can tell. There we go. See, it's kind of like cracked. Anyways. So that was my only problem with the kit was I didn't like the whipped cream clay. 
but the actual air dry clay was just like a dream to work with. <laughs> um, it was it was really good. So this is just uh, it's a close up view, and as you can see, like there's little bits there that I didn't use. I didn't really like these little fruit things and these metallic balls. I just didn't feel like they went with the kit. Um, but yeah, so this is what I did. And then I also got a Fua Fua kit, so I did some, some of this is Fua Fua clay, but most of it's the, the Tribeca clay. I combined them. So lots of little creations and lots of these little um, deco pieces too. Um, the thing is, it came with this plastic nib, which I just used my metal one because it was a little bit smaller. And as you can see, there's a piece or two that has the smaller, small one that I used because I didn't want to use the big one. But also, the kit comes with this, which I thought was glue at first, but um, in one of the videos, somebody mixed it in with their clay when they were doing it, and I was like, I thought that was glue, and then I thought maybe it does something, um, because the clay does dry a little bit lighter than it actually is, so I thought maybe it keeps the darkness, but it was actually a... Um, it's a scent. You mix it with your clay, your air dry clay, and it's scented. Um, I don't really like the scent. I mean, it smells good, but I don't really like scented things in the first place. And then it comes with all, like, your little findings and everything. It came with this. You're supposed to make, like, a scoop to go on, on it and um, deco it. I didn't do that. But, um, I liked... This the only thing I had was when you added the um when I added this raspberry looking thing. As you can tell it bled in the clay. I think that was because it was too wet though. But it did it. Yeah. I don't mind it. Um I really like this one. This one's one of my favorites right now. But and this one, and I really like the with the um. This is from the Fua Fua mold, but yeah. So I had a grand old time making this. Like, and like I said, I had extra clay left over, so I made some little deco dollops. Um, like I said, I would definitely recommend it. Um, maybe start off with one of the smaller kits. I heard that um, the smaller kits don't come with much. I don't, I don't know. Um, see how you like it. Definitely be experienced with clay and deco den first, though. Uh, because, like I said, there's no instructions. So you get... Um, you can get lost fairly easily. And then I also tried it with some other um, molds that I had. Space cream molds. Yeah, so um, that's it for that. So check it out. It definitely was fun. Worth the money. And now I have these molds, which is really mostly what I would say you're paying for. Plus these pieces look great. And they're fairly sturdy. They're kind of squeaky, but yeah. So, um, I'll post links below. I'm posting, probably going to post this from my phone. And I'll go back in later and post links. So if they're not right there, 
right away just search on YouTube House of Ink Houston and uh, her page should have her website on it and that's where you can buy them I think um, one standout one has the molds but doesn't have the kits House of Ink has molds and kits to buy so yeah see y'all soon